A high school student shot on school property in Baltimore County as students are getting picked up from Catonsville High School tonight. Police are vowing to make an arrest in this case. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Denise Koch. Welcome to the News at 6. And to those of you streaming this evening, this is, of course, a rapidly developing situation. Baltimore County Police just held a news conference a short time ago. We have team coverage at the school tonight. Annie Rose Ramos spoke with a few students at the school when gunshots rang out. But we begin with Kelsey Kushner with the latest on the investigation. Kelsey. Vic, Denise, well, police officials say that this all unfolded just after 3 p.m., about 45 minutes after dismissal. Police say that it was a Catonsville High School student that was shot in the parking lot. The suspect then took off that student, was taken to a nearby trauma center for treatment tonight. Their condition is unknown. Police say that they were able to then clear the entire school out of an abundance of caution. Tonight, police say that they are still searching for that suspect. But Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski says that they will not stop. Stop until that suspect is behind bars. I have every confidence that our police department and Baltimore County Public Schools is doing everything they can to ensure a safe learning environment each and every day. I have every confidence our police department will resolve this case and there will be arrest and arrest as the chief has said. And I have every confidence that between us and county government and the school system, all the resources Catonsville needs, they will get. Students tell me tonight that they heard those gunshots and went running. School officials say that they will have counseling and resources available on campus tomorrow to help students. Reporting live, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ. All right, thank you, Kelsey. And we now head to Annie Rose, who spoke with some of those students. Annie Rose. Vic and Denise, as you heard Kelsey mention, this happened 45 minutes after classes were dismissed. This echoes a lot of what we've been hearing from the students who tell us they were walking into after school clubs, like the engineering club in the basement. We heard others who say they were going to after school sports practice, like track and lacrosse. We heard from one lacrosse player, just to give you a little perspective, the parking lot where the shooting occurred happened behind this building that you see behind me. Now, the lacrosse team and the track field were right next to that parking lot. So we heard from one of the lacrosse players who was getting to practice right as the shooting occurred. Here's what he had to say. Like pops were gunshots. We thought they were fireworks. Um, we stood there for a second. We weren't sure what was happening. We saw kids running and then we uh, and we saw a white car pull up. Uh, the passenger hopped out with the gun. We saw the gun and we started running towards the road over there. And then um, we heard more shots as we were running, but there was and then we saw the car drive off. But Vic and Denise, so traumatizing. We understand that lacrosse team ran away from the school towards a community college near behind the school. We understand the track team right next to them. They ran into a nearby shed, 25 of them all huddled together in total terror and fear. You know, we are standing next to one of the only openings that parents are able to access their children to pick them up. We have seen parents come in tears, leave in tears. This has really terrorized an entire school community, and they are just working through that. You heard Kelsey mention that the school superintendent say there's going to be support staff here for anyone who needs it. No doubt this community is going to be in need of it come tomorrow. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.